Thank you for the introduction. First off, I'd like to thank all of you sitting here, our families, friends, boyfriends, girlfriends, the BU faculty and staff, for coming here today to celebrate this great achievement with us. I'd also like to thank those of you that had to travel to get here. Um, it means a lot to us. I'd like to congratulate Dr. Unterreiner on her Excellence in Research Award and also uh, Mrs. DeMuro and Dr. Hopkinson on their Excellence in Teaching Awards. But I'd especially like to congratulate my fellow students here in front of me, now graduates, on making it through the past three or four or five or six or seven <laughs> years. Since finishing finals, I've had some time to watch some movies. So I pulled out a classic, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. <laughs> While watching it, I was reading up on some of the biographies of some of the cast, and I realized that despite his ridiculous French accent in the movie, John Cleese is actually a pretty wise guy. He once said in an interview, and I quote, we all operate in two contrasting modes which might be called open and closed. The open mode is more relaxed, more receptive, more exploratory, more democratic, more playful, and more humorous. The closed mode is tighter, more rigid, more hierarchical, and more tunnel visioned. Most people, unfortunately, spend most of their time in the closed mode. However, I like to think that we're not like most people, because I once read that uh, around only 7% of the world's population has a university or a college degree. Today, I'm proud to be graduating with the Bachelor of Science with Honors in Biology. My education here of the scientific method has taught me to keep an open mind because new discoveries are constantly being made. And although this is intended to be applied to scientific theories, I think that we can also apply it to all aspects of our lives. I did, and it changed my life. When I started at BU, I didn't really know what direction I wanted to go. Sound familiar? <laughs> and as time went on, I became progressively more stressed by the big, what am I going to do with my life question. But then, BU gave me the opportunity to work in Dr. Kaprivnikar's Parasite Ecology Laboratory in the summer going into my third year. An opportunity, I might add, which would have been much less likely in a larger university. I then got the privilege to work with her again last summer and then this past year under her supervision for my undergraduate thesis. She introduced me to the world of research, a career path that I honestly didn't know much about before and that I hadn't even really considered as an option. But I loved it. I had found the perfect career path for me because it plays to my strengths and it includes my interests. So I feel really fortunate for the opportunities that BU gave me here, and I'm really glad I kept an open mind two years ago. That being said, I still don't exactly know what I'll be doing five years from now, but I now feel more comfortable with the unknown, knowing that if I keep an open mind, opportunities will come around. For those of you that already have a career path set out for you, such as the nurses and psych nurses here, I'm jealous. <laughs> But I'm also very happy for you guys because you found a career that you love. So congratulations. For the rest of you in the same boat as me, whether you are taking some time off to work or travel, or whether you just haven't had enough school yet and intend to start somewhere again in the fall, such as myself, I hope you can keep an open mind as well and that it helps you find your way. It seems strange saying goodbye to a place and to people whom I've not yet left. But as I move on to a larger university in the fall, I know that I'm going to miss the small class sizes I had here at BU. Because they made me feel like part of a family here rather than just another number. And even though we may not have had as large of a selection size of courses offered each year compared to other universities, our small class sizes did mean that our education was personalized and that our professors had a vested interest in each and every one of us succeeding. In fact, most of us probably even have one professor that we've become close with over the years and that we intend to keep in touch with. 
One of my aunts graduated from BU 31 years ago, and I was talking to her recently, and she said that she misses the exact same thing about BU. So, it must be true. I'm also going to miss the close relationships that I fostered with many of you sitting here today. Other things we may all generally miss about BU were, are, are the epic and sometimes heated debates in class, the amazing mustache that philosophy professor Dr. Robinson grows every year from November, the look of pure childish delight on our profs' faces as they prepare to pie each other in the face, and yes, I'm even going to miss the cold glares I used to get whenever I'd, God forbid, open a can of pop or crunch an apple in the North Stacks. <laughs> but on a more serious note, I want to take a moment right now to remind us to think of and thank the people that have helped us through this arduous journey. Whether the support they gave us was academic, financial, spiritual, emotional, or all of the above, they really deserve to be recognized and acknowledged. Because many of us wouldn't be here without their help today. However, ultimately, it comes down to you guys. In the end, we did it. And I'm really proud of us, because I'm sure that all of us had to overcome some sort of personal battles, battles throughout our time. But I like to believe that a little blood, sweat, and I'll admit it, some tears, <laughs> have made us stronger. Getting to this point may have seemed like an impossible task at times, but with a little brains, some outside support, and lots of persistent hard work and determination, we got her done. We made it. We're here. So I really mean it when I say congratulations to you all. I hope that we can all keep an open mind as we start this new chapter in our lives, and I sincerely wish you all success in all of your future endeavors. Thank you.